one of the things I love about teaching popular music is um, just the rate of growth and change that popular music goes through and, and how I have to really stay on my toes in terms of listening to new music. Um, I think it's quite interesting that at the heart of being a popular musician is to be an originator. And um, whilst, of course, creativity is at the heart of what happens at all conservatoires, we're dealing with composer performers, not just performers who spend a lot of time interpreting existing repertoire. So kind of creating the structures to encourage and reward original work has been an interesting challenge. You know, even though popular music has been around for such a short time relatively to classical, there are canons of popular music in terms of white male guitar, <laughs> rock-driven canons, which have been kind of solidified and perpetuated through certain uh, education sources, which I think we have to challenge in order to make sure that um, we are encouraging a wide, diverse range of young people to involve themselves in popular music education. I think a 21st century musician involves um, being a wide, wide, wide open listener and having no barriers to what you um, approach musically, um, taking risks. Um, and I think also, you know, it's important to emphasise the idea of being an entrepreneur, thinking outside of the box, understanding the need for multiple streams of income and work, um, being confident in communicating and working as a team and, and just generally um, reaching out beyond boundaries. I think role models are hugely important. I don't think they can be underestimated, whether that's having a conversation as a young person with someone from a field that you're inspired by, or just seeing a photograph of someone who looks like you doing something that you aspire to do. Um, it's, on so many levels, it's important. Debbie Wiseman, you know, I didn't even know, I'd been through a lot of my music education in a classical sense without hearing about female composers, you know, and then um, just to see her and see her work was completely inspiring and, and she took time to give me some encouraging words and actually stayed in touch and, and that meant absolutely everything. I, I don't think, I think without that I don't think I would have not just had the confidence but even known that that was possible, you know, so um, I wholly believe in the power of role models, <laughs> yeah. I think as, as, a, as a young person wanting to embrace a career in popular music, um, the first thing I would say is, is, is really about wide, wide, wide listening. So um, just uh, reaching as far and wide as you can in terms of the music that you, that you approach and that you, you have a go at performing um, or that you take inspiration from um, in terms of composing. Um, don't, you know, uh, don't limit yourself in terms of that. I think that there are lots of fantastic organisations out there um, that are helping to support young people in um, performing and composing original music um, that's, that you could try and, try and plug into. Um, and it's, it is quite difficult with, with popular music sometimes, you know, the actual spaces to play, perform and, and have your music received and um, can be challenging in that uh, you know, there's over 18 kind of issues sometimes in venues and, um, and uh, I think that part of the history of pop music is about, um, you know, breaking down doors and breaking rules and et cetera, et cetera. And you should literally like hammer the door down of your local venues and try to find safe, encouraging spaces for you to play if you're not over 18 and uh, use social media to, to promote and share what you do.